50 years ago, Dr. Robert Flynn, a leading Arizona cardiologist, and Irene Flynn, a caring philanthropist, demonstrated their foresight and generosity when they created the Flynn Foundation. Dr. and Mrs. Flynn, in terms of their, uh, their dedication to the community, their focus on uh, making the community better, uh, resulting in the very simple mission of the Flynn Foundation to improve the quality of life in Arizona. Bob Flynn had a great interest in Arizona, and he loved the whole state. He had a twinkle in his eye. He had a very good sense of humor and uh, there wasn't too much that he couldn't talk about. And he was a guy that would do very well hosting the dinners, uh, introducing people, telling jokes. He was just really a, a kind of a bon vivant type of guy. He always was dressed in a very debonair, dashing style, usually with a sports coat, with a rosebud boutonniere in his lapel. And he was always very polite, very knowledgeable, Kind to everybody. Uh, always had a nice car. It was a Rolls Royce. Mrs. Flynn was very kind to everyone. Did not get the impression that she just spent money to be liked. Because it could be somebody's name who she read in the newspaper that needed some money because they had a terrible tragedy in the house. She would donate. And she'd tell them the same thing. This is, this is anonymous. Because he had gone to Harvard but many years before I went to Harvard Medical School. So we would talk about Boston and, uh, and the medical school because he was very fond of Harvard. He actually uh, brought some of the first um, electrocardiographic monitoring equipment to St. Joseph's for the ICU. Started another little industry, if you will, at St. Joseph Hospital of reading EKGs from all over the United States and then from places in the world. The marriage before Dr. Flynn was somebody who was very wealthy. Her husband was friends with the Watsons from IBM at the beginning. And as a result of that, he got stock at IBM. The idea of the foundation just made a lot of sense to both of them. I mean, Dr. Flynn, you know, had this great reputation and he really was a futurist. And so I think she probably knew that this was going to be a success. And, um, and she was philanthropic. So it worked out both ways. I know there was some discussion as to what we could use the money for. Uh, we. Uh, People thought maybe it should not go to anything else but St. Joseph's, but yet we really didn't want it to be just for that. We were thinking about at that time, clearly, that uh, this is a foundation that needs a staff and it needs, uh, uh, it needs a chairman. One thing led to another, and that's how we got John Murphy's name. And he, he turned out to be a very good director. Dr. Flynn basically supported biomedical activities, either education or health or delivery of care. However, Mrs. Flynn uh, was interested, although she was a very quiet donor, she was interested in the arts and education. So they, there was a big um, discussion on the board about whether or not to, to put any money into something besides biomedicine. I think one of the most important uh, decisions that we made as a board was building a building f for the foundation. And it wasn't just a building that housed the administrative offices of the foundation. It was really a gift to the community and to the nonprofit area. The building was built large enough to have space for meetings uh, and the nonprofit organizations weren't charged for use of the, of the building. After supporting Arizona's healthcare sector for years, the Flynn Foundation narrowed its preeminent funding target to the biosciences. Today, the foundation serves the community in four areas. Biosciences, where we make significant grant investments to improve health outcomes and the Arizona economy. Our Flynn Scholars Program is a legacy program that for 30 years has been providing Arizona's brightest students a world-class education at one of our state universities. 
in arts and culture, we're boosting the physical and creative capacity of the state's larger institutions. And our newest program, the Arizona Center for Civic Leadership, is cultivating state-level civic leaders from all viewpoints to take on and solve Arizona's long-term policy challenges. I think Dr. and Mrs. Flynn would be very proud of the work that is going on now in the foundation that probably goes way beyond what their original thought was of supporting cardiology and research at uh, one great hospital, St. Joseph's Hospital here in Phoenix. One of the things we try to do is stay true to their, our understanding of their vision and mission within the context of current time. So it, it, how does doc, the vision of Dr. and Mrs. Flynn look in 2015? So what Flynn really focuses on is new ideas, uh, excellence, and leadership. Uh, you take those three things, new ideas, excellence, and leadership, and you bring them together and you catalyze uh, positive outcomes in those three categories and you're going to help drive the trajectory of Arizona uh, in the positive uh, direction and that's what Flynn is all about. For those of us who are focused on that longer horizon, that next generation and the generation after that, it's all about education, health care, making smart philanthropic uh, investments in the state. And through Flynn and other philanthropies that we work with, it's a very good state and we will be a great state.